My name is Alan Byrne. Um, just recently turned 48 years old. Um, I found out I had a liver disease back in 1987 when I was in the service. Um, I had some elevated liver enzymes at that time and they did a biopsy of my liver and found out that I have alpha-1 antitrypsin enzyme deficiency, which is a relatively rare genetic disorder. Um, and at that time they told me I had uh, early stages of cirrhosis and I was only 24 years old at that time and so and, but I felt good you know <laughs> I thought there must have been a mistake or something because I, I was probably in better shape than the doctors were at that time um, and up until uh, this past fall it's always been fine I've never I've always been too healthy for a transplant um, but then about five or six months later in November I found out that I had cancer um, because of some elevated uh, alpha feta protein blood test and they did an MRI and found out that I had uh, several tumors on my liver but I wasn't sure if they would be able to do anything about you know my situation because I knew it was pretty pretty severe situation for me uh, I knew I had too many tumors to be eligible for a liver transplant uh, because the criteria the Milan criteria specifies you can only have three tumors or less and that Dr. Walzer had been uh, recently using a new uh, technique called uh, laser ablation uh, using an MRI and he felt like I'd be a good candidate for his, uh, his procedure, his treatment. I was aware of that procedure because I've read, looked at the website and read his video clip or saw his video clip and you know I was just so elated or hopeful that you know that this treatment would be successful for me and it certainly did give me an opportunity to be put on the transplant list. The previous place where I was seen at in North Carolina, they told me that ablation techniques that they performed or that anybody else performed would not be an option for me because of the, the difficult location of the tumors, they said. And so I was just so fortunate that I happened to be in the right place at the right time and Dr. Walzer was able to, to treat me. Um, and he was successfully able to burn, I think, two of the tumors um, that helped put me within the Milan criteria and made me eligible for a liver transplant. A month after being placed on the uh, transplant list, that they called me one morning and <laughs> told me they thought that uh, they had a liver uh, for me, and it was just uh, kind of a you know a dream. I really didn't think uh, you know that it was real at first. I didn't have time to get too nervous about it. I mean, they were so great, uh, they even taking me to the OR. I felt so reassured by the staff. They they were all very professional and made me feel like I was in good hands. But also in the back of your mind, you realize that somebody had to die too in order for you to receive this gift. And so there's some of that, you know, kind of mixed emotions in there too. You feel bad for their family and what they must be going through. Um, but, you know, it's, it's something that, you, you know, you know that you're not responsible for what happened to that person. and it's. Um, but it's a chance for that person to be able to, you know, save maybe five or six lives, and so it's a it's a heroic act by that by that individual and by that family to to be willing to donate or to be an organ donor. Um, and so I've just been very blessed in so many ways. Um, you know, this past, you know, the last Christmas was a very sad time for me. Um, <laughs> excuse me. But, um, you know, I've just been so lucky throughout this whole procedure, you know. Um, you know, it's just been such a miracle, really, in so many ways, that I hope to be able to, you know, if not pay it back, at least pay it forward and try to help other people maybe that are, that are going through the situation that I've had to go through and give them hope that they can make it too, that they can get through this.